This training course is designed for the beginner. If you've never written a line of code in your life, this is the course for you. If you have written code in the past, and especially if you've worked on my test mods in the past, you'll probably be able to skip through the intro and first chapter. Though you may want to look at the challenges, just to make sure you know how to do all those things. The course is meant to be watched in order. I expect you to learn things as you go along. I won't keep covering the same stuff in every lesson, and I'll cut out a lot of material that's already been covered to focus on the new information that I'm trying to teach. If at any time you feel lost, you can go back to the previous lessons for a refresher. Nobody will mind. My hope is that after going through this course, you'll have all the knowledge you need to create your very own mods for my test. As my test continues to evolve and change, I'll be updating the videos and the accompanying web pages to keep all the information relevant and up to date. Each lesson is presented in video formats and is text and images on the website. Use whichever suits you best. After reading or watching the lesson, try and complete the challenge. Lessons with challenges will have a challenge handout in print and digital form. Both contain the exact same information, just formatted differently. Use the handouts if you need a reminder as to what the challenge was and want some hints and code tidbits. Or if you're an educator, these are great to give to your students as homework. If the lessons require any additional resources, I'll make those available in a zip file that you'll find on the lessons page on my website. What this course will not include is inspiration, dedication, and a will to do great things. You'll have to bring that to the table yourself. You'll also have to download and install MindTest and a suitable code editor. Check out lesson four of the intro chapter for instructions on how to download and install MindTest, mods, texture packs, and subgames. And check out code editors in the appendix. You'll find a list of programs and information on how to configure them best for writing MindTest mod code.